Okay, so I've been wanting to make this video for a long while now. The problem is Nickelodeon makes it extremely hard to talk about these shows because I'll get copyrighted, but I shall press on. All Grown Up is the best show Nickelodeon has made since Jim Neutron. I say without a shadow of a doubt, it is leaps and bounds above the original. It's hard to provide proof, yeah, again, because of the copywriting, of how just hilarious the show is. How it perfectly combines physical humour and dry wit to create a show I actually laugh out loud to. The only shows I laugh out loud to are Top Gear, for whatever reason, and some episodes of Jimmy Neutron. Mostly everything else just gets a snicker or a yeah, it's funny. This show is absolutely fantastic, and I've never understood the hate this show gets, especially from the fan base, but most importantly, from the creators and voice actors. A lot of the hate, I believe, is attributed to the fact that Nickelodeon more or less replaced Rugrats with this show. That's never a particularly good idea, especially when Rugrats has such a legacy, and replacing it with an extremely different show in the hopes to capture the same audience was just dumb, and just another perfect example of Nickelodeon being absolutely idiotic with their IPs. To that degree, I can understand why people dislike the show, but it's been years now and I do not believe that argument stands up anymore. Especially as we are now very much aware that, you know, Rugrats had declined a lot in its final years. The quality had gone down so much, so in reality I believe all Grown Up was really the best thing that could have happened for Rugrats. If it wasn't for Nickelodeon making the arguably dumb decision and replacing this show with something that was a bit more risky, we most likely probably would have had three more very lackluster seasons of Rugrats before it just getting cancelled. For the sake of Rugrats' legacy, I feel like this was for the best. Cancelling it while it was still on some form of a high even though it was quite a few levels down from its real highs. Now, I'm not a huge fan of Rugrats. I own all the seasons. I've watched like 90% of the episodes. It has some sensational episodes, but for every amazing episode, there are three that I just cannot imagine watching again. I also don't believe it has the same wide appeal that other Nickelodeon shows have. Like, once you turn 10, you're kind of past it now. It's an amazing show for when you're in its demographic, but once you're out, yeah. Now that's not a slight on Rugrats. They understood their demographic. They had a very specific demographic. It's wrong to tear down the show for not appealing to everyone ever, but there is just the fact that I don't watch the show now. I own all the seasons. Most of them are still in their plastic. I don't watch the show. I don't show Rugrats to people. When BJ comes over, I'll show him an episode of Jimmy Neutron. I'll show him an episode of Hey Arnold. I don't show him Rugrats. I don't show anyone Rugrats. It's a good show if you're a fan of it as a kid, but I can't imagine many 20 year olds becoming new fans of it. It doesn't have that appeal. That's the cost of having a very young and small demographic. If you're not already a fan, you're not gonna become a fan. All Grown Up is very different. I believe All Grown Up is far better because I absolutely love the show at age 6, 11, 14, and I'm now re-watching it at 19, and I think I actually enjoy it more than I ever have before. The comedy is pinpoint accurate, landing these quips at like just the perfect time. The characters maintain everything that made them great before, while having a layer of just depth and actual growth that just wasn't possible in the previous show because, well, they were babies. Now I have seen some criticism from fans and all that about the direction they took some of the characters in, specifically Tommy, and even E.G. Daly, the voice of Tommy Pickles, said in a podcast that she wasn't pleased with that direction. I don't understand. I completely disagree. The idea that Tommy should be basically the same character from when he is a baby to when he is like 11 through to 12, I believe, through the, the space of the show is absurd. It is so stifling to the creativity the show could go in to expect Tommy and all the characters to be exactly the same as they were in the last one. It's a different show. This is the thing that people always mistake. It's not 
Rugrats all grown up. It's all grown up. Yes, these are the same characters, but it's a different show. It's okay for them to go in a different direction. Tommy is loyal, brave, honest, but he also makes mistakes. The show's best moments are when they take these char characters, put them in situations where they do make mistakes, and then through that show that they are still these same characters. Tommy is still always brave and honest and loyal, but he makes mistakes and those uh, characteristics have to show through that, and that's what they do so well. There's also the case of Dill, who is I suppose a completely different character than he was in Rugrats, even though he didn't really have a character in Rugrats, he kind of was just around. <laughs> um, I love Dill in this show, he is fantastic. I love him so much, he's so good. And like, they, had, they did such a great job of making his character strong enough so he could stand up to the other characters as a strong character. These are characters we've known for years and he can now just slot in perfectly. It's so good. The growth of Angelica, of Susie, all that type of stuff. Fantastic. All Grown Up pulls off what the Looney Tunes show did. Taking these characters, pre-established characters, and putting them into more or less a sitcom setting and doing it just superbly. It works so well and having multiple plot lines all going at once through an episode just keeps the show going and it's just and it lets these different characters have different interactions. It's so good. The plot lines aren't, you know, the most creative thing. Yeah, again, it's a sitcom, so you know, the plot lines of the stories aren't going to be absolutely insane. But then again, what you're relying on then is the comedy. And the comedy is just so much stronger than nearly any other Nickelodeon show I've seen. It more than makes up for the fact that it's a plot line that you've seen before. Sitcoms are still created, new sitcoms are created like every day and they're doing the same plot lines they always have. That's not much of a problem for people, but when, oh, all grown up does it, whoa, whoa. That's about everything I was planning on talking about in this video. I want to make this because I get really tired of how accepting so many Nickelodeon fans are of the absolute garbage that Nickelodeon pours out. The past few sp seasons of Spongebob, since like season 9, have been basically unwatchable to me. They are awful. Awful. I will soon, someday when I... And I build up the uh, the tolerance to be able to like rewatch those episodes. I will make a video, an extremely harsh, extremely long video on how every bloody episode is horrendous. Yet people are just so accepting of that shoddy quality that these shows have. Yet all grown up constantly get so much hate. When I'd argue it was more or less Nickelodeon's last great show. I'm tired of this show having such a negative reception. So I'm going to start spreading the good word about it. I'm going to be doing five videos, one on every single season of the show, reviewing it, reviewing more or less every episode in it, every season, because it deserves that. It deserves to have discussion. It deserves to have some criticism. They've got some bad episodes in there. There are some weaker seasons in there, but we will discuss it and we will talk about it because this show deserves to be talked about more. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Mwah. Mm -hmm.